Hey YouTube, this is Gracie and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. As you can see, I have a giant plank of wood here on my table ready to go. You may be thinking, what are you going to do with that? Well, stay tuned to find out. Lately, I've been feeling a little bit nostalgic for Disneyland and even though they're opened up again at limited capacity, I'm still not able to go for many reasons, one being money. Um, so I thought I would bring a little bit of Disneyland home with me and home for you guys. If you guys would like to join along and try this for yourself, please do so. You can tag me in pictures on Instagram and here is my Instagram right here. It's a little Disney magic. Um, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying my hardest to get to 100 subscribers. We're slowly getting there. Thank you guys so much. All 92 subscribers that I have so far. Thank you so much for subscribing and following along my journey here. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing I did was I cleaned this board up. I kind of like got off all the moss and all of the little um, dirt bits here and there. I am going to be tracing out the word fast pass entrance on the top. So we're going to start out with writing fast pass and then entrance somehow on the bottom here. Basically, this sign will be inspired by any wooden sign in Disneyland that says fast pass entrance. Eventually, I'm going to be putting together a whole collection of signs very similar to this made out of different materials. Today is, as you can see, wood. Eventually, I'll be doing metal, glass, fabric, and possibly paper. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, and we'll be doing all different signs that you see at Disneyland. Now, this is not going to be an exact replica. It's going to be inspired by the signs that you see at the parks. So today's will be the Fast Pass Entrance that you may see somewhere in Splash Mountain area, Critter Country, Frontierland, anything like that. So let's go ahead and get started by writing out the word Fast Pass. It's very hard to see, but I have handwritten the word Fast Pass on the top here. This I did in black marker, just so I can kind of get an idea of whereabouts I want the lettering. And then once I start painting, I can kind of shape the letters how I want them to look. Um, and I'll insert a little um, inspiration photo here for the font that I'm going for. I had initially thought about going to the store and buying stencils and then just, you know, doing it that way, but I kind of wanted to do it my own way. I'm a little stubborn that way. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. The next thing I'm going to do is start painting with this Sailing Sky Blue, just some satin acrylic paint that I had in my little stash, and it is a light blue. Again, this is kind of sort of themed after the uh, Splash Mountain signs, and a lot of the wooden signs have like that really pretty blue on it, and I thought that would look kind of nice. So. Let's go for it. This is going to take forever. So I think what I'm going to do is finish this off camera show you what it turned out like um, at the end and then do finishing touches with you guys together. I am doing this with a teeny tiny little brush and it's needing a lot of paint to be loaded onto it to transfer onto the wood because I have not pre-treated the wood. I haven't sanded it or used any primer on it because I want it to look very rustic and um, unfinished. So this is definitely going to take quite some time um, so I'm going to try some larger paint brushes and see how that works. Let me do that with you guys really quick and then the rest of it I will do off camera. Hopefully you can tell by that little time lapse um, that I use different paint brushes for each letter and the fine tip brush was definitely my least favorite. This little middle one did a lot better but the best one was the angled brush that I did the S in. 
However, the angled brush is not good, <laughs> for me at least, for the curved letters. So this might be okay for like the straight letters with the F and the A and the T, um, but not for the S's. So we'll see how this kind of goes. I'm going to definitely be thickening these letters up. It looks real bad right now, but don't you worry. Don't give up on me just yet. I will show you how this will um, come out much better in the end. So I'm going to finish this off um, off camera and I will show you the end result. Just a super quick update. I wanted to show my progress on some of these letters. I'm just kind of playing around with the little shapes and like edges of the letters. I've been using this little um, kind of squared off edge one. Um, it's kind of the medium size one that I talked about before. This one's been coming in handy. I've been able to kind of just like glob on the paint, but I'm still playing around with the shapes um, of the letters, but I just thought I'd show you really quick. Here is another progress report for the lettering. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out so far. I think I may be adding some highlights and some low lights on there with some dark blue and then some white. Sorry if you hear snoring, my dog is in the background, <laughs> he's sleeping. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do before I do all that, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm going to be putting the word entrance down here because now I know how hard it is to paint in these little like divots and stuff. I'm not going to do anything over here. That would be way too hard. So I think I'm gonna write the word entrance over here and then maybe we'll add some little fun things at the end. I have painted the word entrance on the far right hand corner. I had originally painted it in the same light blue as the word fast pass. And you can see kind of here in this little corner here. But I saw on the signs that they had that the um, entrance was different colors than the other words. So I wanted to do the same thing here. So I went over it in white and I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, the lettering is still the same. I let that dry and now I'm going to be adding the low lights using this Mediterranean blue here um, and doing more of a ombre effect because if you look at the Splash Mountain sign, that's what they have on their lettering. It's um, darker to light. Um, bottom to top, so that's what I'm going to be doing now. Just adding that little bit of darker blue made it look so much more elevated and more dimensional. I really like how that turned out. And now I looked back at the reference photo again. I think I'm going to be adding a line uh, underneath the word entrance because in the reference photo, there's a bunch of underlining going on. And I just think that would add a little um, more pizzazz to the sign. I think I'm also going to go in with a like medium blue and ombre this a little bit more just to, again, just add even more dimension to it. Uh, I don't know if I want to go from like the top into the middle. I think I'm just going to leave it from the bottom going to the top dark to light. I did leave, as you can see, a little bit of that lighter blue peeking through. Let me get in a little bit closer because I thought that, you know, allowed it to pop off the dark wood a little bit more so you could see it. Um, and it, I just think it looks pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited for the end result, I'm really excited to have it up on my wall and feel like I have Disneyland in my room, <laughs> more so than I already do. ahead and did the underline under entrance and I also did a little bit of shadow um, with the light blue on the word entrance as well. I couldn't resist. 
it was just calling my name. And then I did the medium blue with the dark blue ombre in to the light blue. <laughs> Very complicated. But um, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I think the next thing is to add our little finishing touches. But what do you guys think of it so far? Do you guys like it? If you do, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I'm trying my best to get to 100. So let's get there. Let's get there together. So let me go ahead and do our little finishing touches. Now for all of the fun stuff, I just went and picked up all these little goodies here. I have my little hooks to start attaching and making this a hanging sign as well as the chain to do that. I picked up some chalk paint, some black chalk paint, because I'm going to be painting these two little squares that I got from Joann's. Um, painting these and making this into the uh, return times. And instead of it being just a random return time, I figured I could make this into a calendar. So things have definitely changed. Inspiration definitely flowed through me. And I think this is going to be really fun and something um, that I could use every day, obviously, because it will be a calendar. So let me go ahead and paint these guys, the chalk board uh, black paint and then we're going to glue these down we also need to write on here somewhere somehow the return or uh, not return time what did I say yes the return times not the wait times because it's a fast pass anyway so let's get to painting <laughs> While I wait for those two squares to have its first layer of paint dry, I wanted to talk a little bit about this like chain and hook system that I got. Um, I got all of this from Home Depot, had someone cut this for me, and I actually got um, two feet of this, and I'm going to keep it exactly the way it is, the length that it is. I was going to like, um, split it in half and then use the chain for a different section of the sign but I think I'm just going to use the whole thing for now. I can always change it later because I think I'm going to be um, putting these d-ring hangers on the back side of it and then um, putting the chain and connecting it um, together with these. Eventually like I said earlier I wanted to do more signs with different materials like metal and glass and um, other things. So I wanted to attach these um, to the bottom of this wooden sign just by screwing them in so that I can attach more signs um, eventually because um, I don't want them all in different places. I kind of wanted them all to kind of like cascade down um, in a row. So that's what these are going to be used for. So I just wanted to mention those really quickly and I'm going to attach all of these right now before I get anything else going on the front. Here is the back side of water. I mean, the sign. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a little Disneyland reference for you guys. Um, this is the back side of the sign. I am going to be attaching my little hanger things, which, by the way, sound really cool. I don't know why, but I like that sound. <laughs> so we're going to attach these with the little screws that they give you, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, one down, one to go. I was really quite nervous doing it. I didn't want to split the wood, but thankfully it worked out okay. So we are going to work on the next one. Okay, both of them worked out perfectly. Did not split the wood or anything. So those are on and ready to go. I will now be able to attach the chain, but before I do that, create a whole bunch of noise that I don't want. I'm gonna flip this back over and uh, find out where we want to put the little squares. Before I carry on with my next step, I wanted to place these squares where I think they'll work the best. And I think this is a good spot because it'll give me some surface space right above it to write return times. Um, and that way I'm not going too far over in this area because this little spit of wood just looks super cool and I don't want to mess with that. So I think this is going to be the best position for them. And I'm going to stencil that out and then paint those words in. 
I'm done writing return between on here that was a bit of a challenge especially over here in this area but I did it it's all finished and you can read it so that's all you can ask for really um, I decided to go with the saying return between because I remembered a lot of the signs actually said that instead of return time I think the return times were on like the actual like paper fast pass um, reference times and stuff but on the actual signs it was return between. So that's why I went with that. I have also painted the chalkboard squares with a second layer. I think I'm going to go in with a third just in case because I've never actually used uh, chalkboard paint before and then written on it with chalk. <laughs> so I don't know exactly how many layers I need. So I'm going to go in with a third coat and then we will super glue or not super glue, sorry, hot glue those down onto the board here. <laughs> Okay, everything has been painted. It has been glued down. I've even attached my little chain to the back. It's all ready to go, except for the last two things. We're gonna try out and make sure that this chalkboard paint actually is chalkboard paint. <laughs> I don't know why, but I got really nervous that it's not gonna work. Um, let's just write zero one. Uh -huh, yay, okay, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yay! Okay, so that is done. And now for the last bit of Disney magic. Okay, so can you guys spot it? That's right, I put a teeny tiny little hidden Mickey right over here. We have the two ears and the head. There you go, there's your hidden Mickey, the little last bit of Disney magic on our Fast Pass entrance return between calendar sign i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button stay tuned for next week's video and if you like this sort of video give me a little i don't know some sort of disney inspired emoji let me know you want to see more of these because i have so many more ideas with the different uh style signs so stay tuned hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you next time bye Thank you.